OK, so we have these complex imaginary numbers, and we want to start combining them. Well, adding and subtracting is absolutely no big deal at all, because all you've got to do is think about how you would combine numbers in general. So suppose I have the imaginary number, complex number 5 minus i, and I want to add it to 9 minus 2i. How would you combine these things? Well, the idea is just to combine the terms that are crying out to be combined, namely the real parts and then the imaginary parts. So a good way of thinking about this is just to write it down, the two numbers down, one on top of the other, like you normally add stuff, making sure that the imaginary parts are lined up under each other and the real parts are lined up. And then just add real parts together and imaginary parts together. If I have 5 and I add 9, I have 14. If I have uh, one a negative i and I have a negative 2i, how many i's do I have together? Well, obviously negative 3i. So this thing would just be that. 14 minus 3i. Not a big deal. How would you, how would you subtract them? Same exact way. Suppose I want to subtract 7 minus 3i and take, away, take that and subtract off minus 5 minus i. Well, you could line them up again. Or just remember to combine the corresponding parts, the real parts together and the imaginary parts together. Now I'm subtracting. Now again, don't make classic mistake number four. I've got to subtract everybody. Just don't subtract this and combine these. That negative sign has to hit everybody. Whoop. Sorry about that. So I see 7 minus minus 5. That's 7 plus 5, which is around 12. That's the real part. Now what about the imaginary part? Here I have minus 3i's, and here I have a minus and minus, which is a plus i. If I have minus 3i's and I have a plus i, that gives me a minus 2i. And so this would be 12 minus 2i. Adding and subtracting complex numbers, just add the real parts, add the imaginary parts, or subtract the real parts, subtract the imaginary parts. Not a big deal.